as far and grace will lead me home. Please remain standing. My name is Ashley Oliver and I have the privilege of being one of the chaplains for the Boulder Police Department. It is not without sadness that I stand here and open us to the ceremony, remembering the lives that were lost on March 22nd, 2021, including the loss of our fellow officer and friend, Eric Talley. I invite you to please bow your heads with me. God, thank you for this time to gather and to remember the lives that were lost one year ago. Thank you for the sacrifice that Eric made. Thank you for the reminder to hold those that we love just a little bit tighter. May we reflect on his life with smiles and joy, even in the midst of the tears and the grief that we still feel. Help remind us to cling to the hope that we hold, that we see such a small glimpse of the picture that is being painted. Remind me to trust in your goodness, and may we honor the memory of Eric and the others that we lost. In your holy name, amen. You may please take a seat. Good afternoon. My name is Dion Waugh. I'm the Public Information Officer for the Boulder Police Department. Thank you all for being here. On behalf of the department, I would like to thank all of Eric's family members, all of our honor guests, all of the agencies who have joined us to remember and honor our fallen here today. I'd specifically like to thank uh, Congressman Joe Nagus, Congressman Jason Crow, uh, CBI Director John Camper, uh, State Senator Steve Fenberg, CU Chancellor Philip DeStefano, um, U.S. Attorney Cole Finnegan, um, Boulder District Attorney Michael Doherty, um, the Sheriff's Office Deputy Chief C.J. Johnson, retired City Manager Jane Brodigam, um, Mayor Aaron Brockett, uh, former Mayor Weaver, uh, members of State Senator Bennett's office, and Councilwoman Tara Weiner. I'd also like to thank ATF Assistant Zach Doak Dyer, the FBI Special Agent in Charge Michael Schneider, as well as Longmont Police Deputy Chief Jeff Satter, and so many of our other honored guests here today with us. We're going to have a couple of speakers and then a couple of ceremonial events to mark this solemn occasion. Um, first up, we're going to have Chief Maris Harold, who's going to speak, followed by District Attorney Michael Doherty, Congressman Crow. Officer Mitch Trujillo reading on behalf a statement on behalf of the family and our city manager before we have a bell ceremony and a pre-recorded message that will air over the radio from dispatch. Thought that will be followed by a benediction and some bagpipers. So with that, I'm going to invite Police Chief Maris Harold up to give her remarks. Thanks, Dion. Thank you so much for everyone that is here to help us remember and honor the life of Eric Talley. This last year has been extremely challenging for our community after the tragic loss of 10 of our friends and our neighbors. All of us have come together to help each other. We have witnessed extraordinary acts of courage and kindness. Members of the Boulder Police Department continue to serve and partner with our community to keep Boulder safe. We will always remember March 22nd, but the events of that day will not define us. Today, we honor our fallen colleague, Eric Talley. On March 22nd, 2021, Officer Eric Talley made the ultimate sacrifice. There is no doubt that Eric's selfless bravery performed in the line of duty saved dozens of lives. Policing, now, more than ever, needs people like Eric. Eric was a true ambassador for the city of Boulder. He was service-driven. Eric was a husband, a father, a son, a brother, a man devoted to his family and his faith. Members of the Boulder Police Department who knew Eric remember his enduring qualities his sense of humor, his infectious laugh, his wit, 
and his ability, like no other, to banter with his supervisory officers. Moving forward, we will continue to honor the sacrifice and bravery of Officer Eric Talley in two ways. First, we have created an Officer Eric Talley Award that will be given to a bolder police employee who embodies the traits of Eric. The award will recognize a person's commitment to protect the vulnerable in our community, just as Eric did. We have also created a uniform pin that you will see us wearing today. It was designed to recognize the different ways the Boulder Police Department personnel responded to this tragedy. On this pin, the date and Eric's radio number, 295, are displayed along with 10 lines. Nine of the lines are silver and represent the community members lost that day. The 10th and final line is blue and it is Eric's. The lines come together to form a V serving as a symbol of the valor demonstrated by the men and women of the Boulder Police Department and our larger community. This pen helps us remember that the police and the community are one and the same. On behalf of the Boulder Police Department, it is my honor to give you one, Leah. As a lasting tribute this week, President Biden signed a bill approved by the U.S. House and the Senate to rename the downtown Boulder Post Office in Eric Talley's name. This effort was led by Congressman Joe Neguse. He worked tirelessly to make this happen, and the Boulder Police Department will ever, forever be grateful for his unwavering support of this endeavor. Congressman Neguse, you are a true leader. We are so fortunate to have you represent our community. At this time, I'd like to introduce District Attorney Michael Doherty, who has been at my side in response to the March 22nd incident. DA Doherty, would you please stand up? Thank you, Chief Herald, for your leadership and your powerful words today. Over the past year, since the first 911 call started to pour in from King Supers, there's been a tremendous response by this community, by so many individuals, and that response started with and was led by Officer Eric Talley. And I want to take a moment to thank all the members of law enforcement, civilian and sworn, who are here today all our federal, state, and local partners, the amazing victim advocates, the staff at the district attorney's office, and the community partners who continue to bring our very best in response to the very worst that we saw on March 22, 2021. On that day, when Officer Talley ran into the store, his example, his memory, should continue to lead us to this day. Today, we honor and remember the lives of all those lost one year ago those victims who innocently went into the supermarket, and Eric Talley, the brave soul who charged in to try to save all of them. In the first moments of the attack, there were nine people gunned down and murdered tragically. They were working, shopping, living their lives, completely innocent. Nevin Stanisic, Kevin Mahoney, Trelona Barkoviak, Ricky Olds, Denny Stong, Lynn Murray, Terry Liker, Jody Waters, then Suzanne Fountain, and finally, Officer Eric Talley. Different people of all ages, from all different backgrounds. But one thing they had in common was that they were all special people who had an incredible impact on the lives of those around them. 
And from attending memorials and speaking with victim family members, I can tell you that each one was so incredibly special. And I wish I had the privilege to meet all of them, because from speaking with their families, I know indeed it would have been a privilege. And all of their loved ones are left to grapple with unimaginable loss and the shock to them and their families. And may we lift up the victims today, and may their passing inspire us to embrace each day as a gift and give our all to life. Eric Talley gave his all for the lives of others. It is how he lived his life. His challenge coin from the Boulder Police Department reads, there is no greater legacy than a life well, well lived in the service of others. I can't imagine a better quote for that coin in honor of Eric Talley. And at this ceremony, we honor and commemorate the incredible service of Officer Talley. Upon hearing the first calls for help from King Supers, he raced to the location, jumped out of his car, and along with two other officers, bravely and courageously charged into King Supers. He ran towards gunfire and entered the store. Based on the 9-1 calls, he had reason to believe that he was outnumbered and outgunned, but he and his fellow officers never hesitated and immediately charged in to save the lives of Boulder's community members. His bravery, courage, and quick response in leading that charge into King Supers did not end that afternoon. It did not end with his death. For his actions in those last moments of his life live on today and will for many, many years. Because the survivors of the attack walk amongst us still. He and fellow officers saved and rescued so many people that day. The employees and customers who hid in the back of the store. The workers who took shelter in the pharmacy. Those that hid upstairs, hoping and praying that death would not come for them that day. And death did not come. They are still amongst us because of Officer Eric Talley and his fellow officers. It's hard to believe, it's hard to imagine that this horrific day could have been any worse than it was. But believe me, it could have been so much worse. But for the actions of Officers Talley and his fellow officers, so many more people face death. It's because of them and their bravery in weathering intense gunfire that so many people survived this horrific attack. And it's because of those officers, because of all of you, that not a single person was shot after officers entered King Supers that afternoon. As a prosecutor for 25 years, I've had the distinct honor of seeing outstanding women and men in uniform engage in acts of bravery and heroism charging towards danger that would send the rest of us fleeing for our lives and serving with distinction and also along with their families shouldering a responsibility and a burden that is hard to imagine and difficult to bear i want to take a moment to thank and recognize all the members of law enforcement at all levels local state and federal who responded that day and worked as a team for the very first moments because in the first minutes after the 911 calls came in from King Supers, Boulder Police Department, the Sheriff's Office, Open Space Rangers, and the University of Colorado Police Department immediately came together as a team and gave their very best to save countless lives in and around King Supers. That teamwork and difficult work continued in the days and weeks that followed. And we should all recognize that for law enforcement, they don't get a break. They don't get to take the next day off. They come in day after day after day, putting aside their own grieving, their own mourning, and their own selves to protect the community, to ensure that the investigation is exhaustive, complete, and thorough, and to make sure that the victims' families are supported. Your tireless efforts in the face of such anguish were truly remarkable. Eric Talley, cared deeply about being a police officer and serving his community. He lived it every day. He gave his life so that so many others could live theirs, and he made the ultimate sacrifice. So today we honor his memory 
and we mourn the loss to his beautiful family, his wife, children, loved ones, and colleagues. On one of the worst days we could ever imagine, we saw bravery and courage beyond all comprehension. That was and is Eric Talley. He is a true hero, and he will never be forgotten. Thank you. Congressman Crow. Hi, I'm Congressman Jason Crow from the 6th District of Colorado. Uh, and I'm honored to be joining you here today. Thank you for the invitation. I come um, from the South Metro region just with a very short and simple message. And that is, number one, uh, on a personal level, to be here today, I know that there is a special kinship and bond between those who run towards the fire. Uh, a soldier, a firefighter, a police officer, it's a special type of man and a special type of woman who is willing to do that, because uh, not many are. And when you do that, you know that sometimes it could cost you your life. But to the family of Officer Talley, you should know, as somebody who has had to bury friends and comrades like Officer Talley, that you have joined a family and a group of people who will always be behind you. My second message is from my community that I represent, a community that has also been disproportionately impacted by gun violence, the scene of some of the largest mass shootings in our nation's history. From Arapaho High School to Stem High School to Columbine to the Aurora Theater shooting, a community that I represent knows what it feels like and goes through. And our community will always, always stand with the Boulder community. My third and final message is that you are very fortunate to be represented by a tremendous leader, a close personal friend of mine, uh, somebody who I've known for a very long time, who entered Congress with me and has been tested time and time again, and has risen to the occasion to lead this community and do amazing work. Uh, and I'm honored to call him a friend and a colleague. And I will always stand behind this community and Representative Joe Neguse to make sure uh, that this community gets what it needs and is supported in the right way. And I am honored to represent uh, and to turn this over to Congressman Joe Nichols. Well, first, uh, let me say thank you to Chief Harold and to the District Attorney and for everyone for being here today. As we mark one year since the tragedy that ripped apart our community, we stand together to remember the lives lost and honor those who are healing. As you have heard from every speaker today, Officer Eric Talley was a hero. He gave his life in service to his community. He gave his life protecting innocent life. On March 22nd, as you heard from our district attorney, he led a team of officers into the King Supers within 30 seconds of arriving onto the scene. And once he entered that building and engaged the shooter, no other lives were taken. A hero, a father, a husband, a colleague, a cherished community member. He was so much to so many people. We owe him and his family a heavy debt of gratitude for his bravery and to those he left behind who as well have sacrificed so much for the safety of our community and for the lives that he saved. To Leah, to his children, our thoughts and our prayers continue to be with you. Uh, ten days ago, I had the honor and the privilege of sharing with, with Leah that the President of the United States had signed a law, a bill to rename the Boulder Post Office in honor of Officer Eric Talley. I've often quoted, and I'll quote again, Thomas Campbell, an Irish poet, who said, to live in hearts we leave behind is not to die. So let us remember, let us honor, let us lift up Eric and the nine other precious souls that were lost a year ago today. In all that we've been through, this community has never failed to be incredibly resilient 
and kind. We are today, we will be tomorrow. And as we remember, as we heal, as we take the next step forward. Thank you so much. Now I'd like to invite Officer Mitch Trujillo up to read a statement on behalf of Eric's family members. As Tally Family Liaisons, Officer Hunter and I appreciate the support from our colleagues. Thank you. A special note of thanks to my liaison, partner in crime for her help in partnership this past year. Thank you, Trudy. I am truly humbled and privileged to speak on behalf of the family of Eric Talley today. In remembrance of Officer Eric Talley from Eric's mom, Judy, stepmom, Pat, father, Shay, stepmom, Jean, and sister, Kirsten, thank you for all the time, energy, and love you put into honoring Eric today. Those of us who love Eric will never forget him, but what you did today assures that Eric will never be forgotten by anyone. His great-great-grandchildren can visit this sacred place and young officers who are privileged to join the ranks of the Boulder Police Department will know of their brother who gave his life to protect and serve. You had his six when he was alive and it's very clear that you always will. We salute and thank you all. In remembrance of Officer Eric Talley from Eric's wife, Leah, and his children. We have been truly edified and blessed by the generosity of so many this year. We first thank God for generously allowing us to suffer this trial for him. We know he does not allow these trials without providing the strength to bear them. We pray daily for that strength. Our sincere thanks to the Boulder Police Department, Eric's fellow officers, and the Boulder community for meeting our most basic needs during those first weeks. We are grateful for all of you across the nation who through your many gifts Words of encouragement and financial support have certainly lessened our temporal burdens. And where would we be without our family, friends, fellow parishioners, and priests to guide us through one of the most difficult times in our lives? Thank you. To remember and honor my husband, Eric, your friend and coworker, is to remember that he was just a normal human being with his share of faults and struggles in life, along with all the good the community and nation have come to know of him. Eric had a way of reading people and situations. With minimal information, he could find some common ground with whomever he contacted, allowing him to instantly contact, connect with that soul who felt it and responded. The many letters of personal anecdotes we have received from civilians fellow officers and coworkers, and even inmates has attested to this aspect of his character. But what made Eric such a good human being and police officer was his ability to draw on his lifetime of personal faults and struggles and be guided by them. Using his police discretion to apply the law most appropriately and compassionately. In this way, he encouraged hope in those he was inspired to help so that they too believed that they could overcome their personal difficulties and change their lives for the better. And they often did. 
Despite whatever Eric was trying to overcome at any given moment, personally or professionally, he always had a way of persevering through tragedy, seeing the good in a situation, and bringing joy to whomever he met with his engaging personality. He was all of this whether he was in uniform or not. God bless you all, and may you also persevere through the tragedy of this year and find some peace and joy in having known Officer Eric Talley. Thank you. Now I'd like to ask the city manager to come up and speak. Thank you everyone for joining us as we take time to reflect on this tragedy of March 22nd, 2022, 2021, and pay tribute to Officer Eric Talley. I'm Nuria Rivera Vandermeid and I'm truly humbled and honored to stand before you today. As many have said, Officer Talley epitomized the kindness, courage, and commitment of City and Boulder employees. When he responded to that call at the Table Mesa King Supers, he did so full of passion. The reopened is closed this afternoon. Other locations intend to pause in observance. A special event is being held at the Boulder Police Department for Officer Eric Talley. With this moment of silence, we honor Talley and Ricky Olds. Also Terry Liker, Denny Stong, Suzanne Fountain, Trelana Barkowiak, Nevin Stanisich, Lynn Murray, Jody Waters, and Kevin Mahoney. I can only imagine the pain that today's brings with it today. And I, of course, pay my respects to the other nine victims of the shooting, whom we will honor fully in a commemorative community-wide ceremony at 4.30 this afternoon at the Banchel. I hope you are all able to join us there as well. As we come upon 2.30, which it is now, the time the first call to dispatch came in last year, I asked you to join me and the entire city of Boulder for a minute of silence, followed by a bell ceremony and a pre-recorded message from dispatch. We say their names again, and remember, Nevin Stanisich, Kevin Mahoney, Trelona Barkoviak, Ricky Olds, Denny Strong, Lynn Murray, Terry Liker, Joey Waters, Suzanne Fountain, Boulder Police Officer, Eric Talley. All uniform first now, attend, put!
and more events are planned for this afternoon. We will cover each and every one beginning at four o'clock. We thank you for sharing this moment with us. We will not forget. And for now, we will return you to our regularly scheduled programming. It is a privilege to honor those who give their lives for ours. It is an opportunity for us to hope in things that we may not otherwise hope for. And it is an opportunity for us to acknowledge and remember those whose lives were lost. As we sit and reflect, as we acknowledge, I and mean, as we hope, I encourage you guys to find hope in something. What are you hoping in? What is keeping you moving? What is encouraging you? It's easy for us to get distracted by the day to day. It's easy to get caught up in the crazy and it's easy for us to keep moving and try to ignore. But what are you hoping in? Because if you don't have hope, there is nothing that is going to encourage us to move forward. So my challenge to each of you, as we sit back, as we remember, is to find that hope. Take a moment to do that, to think through, where are you hoping? What are you hoping in? What are you hoping for? As a chaplain, mine is my faith. My hope is that I trust something that is bigger than me. I trust a God who is bigger than me. And so my challenge to you is to find that in you. Where is that hope? What are you hoping in? And in about 40 seconds, we're gonna have a message that's going to air over the radio. We would like to ask everyone to stand for this moment. If you would please join us in standing the moment the message will air over the radio in about 30 seconds. Thank you. Please stand if you are able. Thank you. to 30 p.m. on March 22nd, 2021. Older Police Communications began receiving multiple calls for an active shooter at a grocery store in South Boulder. Tragically, nine women and men lost their lives. Officer Eric Talley quickly arrived on scene and within 20 seconds was running into the store with his several officers to stop the shooter. He would sacrifice his life in the line of duty. Because of his selfless bravery, no other lives were lost. Eric Talley was a father, husband, son, brother, friend, and dedicated public servant to our community. His life and his sacrifice will never be forgotten. Please join us in a moment of silence to honor Officer Eric Talley.
Eric, you will always be embedded in the hearts of your BPD family. We will continue the watch from here. Our code three is lifted. Resume normal traffic on law one. Please be seated. I'd like to ask the Tally's family priest, Father Daniel Nolan, to please come up and give our benediction. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, amen. Almighty God, we thank you for this opportunity to come together today to remember the life, the virtues, and the sacrifice of Officer Eric Talley, your faithful departed servant, the lives of those who were lost. We ask that we may learn from his sacrifice, from his example, that we ourselves may use our life for good, for your designs. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Family members, officers, distinguished guests, and Officer Tally, I would like to offer a few rem remarks on this occasion in that God can bring good out of evil. He can bring joy out of suffering. And this is the message of the Catholic faith, which was Officer Talley's faith. It's been said he was a husband, a father, an officer, a public servant, and also a man of faith. And the virtues that he showed, the bravery that he displayed, and especially the sacrifice of his life, was in example after our Lord Jesus Christ, whom he followed, whom he sought to emulate. And so it was only because another man had given his life for Officer Talley, Officer Talley was inspired to give his life for others. Now we were all uh, gathered here uh, a year ago, or thereabouts, uh, remembering the life of Officer Talley. What have we done in that year since? How have we used that time? Officer Talley, his time is over. Those nine others, their time is up. How much would they, if they could have been given one more year, how would they have used it? Now that is a lesson we can learn. How are we using our life, that precious gift of life? There will be a year after this, and another, and another, and another. At which point will that year come when we are no longer here? When it has been our turn to pass from this life to the next, what then? I ask you all now to think about the day of your death. What will you wish you had done? because then it will be too late, but not now. I invite you all to begin living your life right now, this day, in light of the day that you will leave this world. What will you wish you have done? Who will you want to have forgiven? If you have any words you want to say to somebody, say them. Say you're sorry. Ask for forgiveness. Let go of that grudge. This is what you'll wish on your deathbed. 
I ask you to think, who on that moment has wished they had more money in their portfolio? Who wishes they'd spent more time at the office? They wish they spent more time with their family, more time with God, more time serving others. And now, so I would like to amplify uh, the comments made by our previous speakers, the bravery, the courage of Officer Talley and of all the officers present. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your example. And I ask that when it comes time, when we depart this world, we can look back and say, I made a difference. I left an example others can follow. Let not our lives be taken from us, but let us give it away, give it back. Give it to others, give it to God. And when that day comes, the day of our death, it will not be so much a departure as it will be an arrival to something better. May God bless you all in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Thank you all for coming. This concludes our ceremony today. We would like to invite our law enforcement partners to join us inside in Training Room West if you would like to take a moment. But thank you all for coming. <laughs>